At 8 o'clock on the evening of February the 8th, 1887, two old friends sat together in the White Elephant Saloon, an elegant Fort Worth gambling hall. Luke Short, the 5'5", five 125-pound five, gambler of Dodd City and Tombstone, has recently purchased part ownership in the White Elephant, and tonight he has a problem on his hands. Short has refused to pay money to a local pistol fighter, Timothy Isaiah Long-Haired Jim Courtright, an Indian fighter and former lawman of fierce reputation, who now ramrods a local protection racket. Courtright has responded to Short's refusal to pay by sending a threatening note to Short, but tonight, Short is not alone. Is Courtright really that good? Hell, he killed four men I know of. At least two of them in a fair fight. Anyhow, he's good enough not to be frustrated by an elf. Luke, I'm not saying you can't handle the situation, but if you want me to take him, I will. If I can't handle this situation, how can I expect to conduct my business? Bat Masterson and Luke Short have been friends for years. In 1883, Masterson, along with Wyatt Earp and several other famous gunfighters, forced Dodd City to welcome Short back with open arms after Short had been run out of that fair city. No blood was shed in that incident, but tonight in Texas, the story will end much differently. What can I do for you, cowboy? This Luke Short's place? You bet. I have a message for him. Now he's sitting back there in the back. Why don't you get me another one there while you're rubbing that old bar down yeah, there? Keep your hands on. You, you look short. Tim Corright told me to tell you to have the coffee on. He'll be stopping by directly. Jake. Need my shooter. Anything else? Right now. Thank you. nothing else to do this evening. Did you get my note? Yeah, I got your note. I think I'm fixing to light this cigarette with. You know the drill I have for me. Get your hand up. Here. chain, this has cost Courtright the split second he needed to survive a stand-up gun battle. Short's first shot, even by Short's own admission, was more luck than skill, striking Courtright in the right hand. Even then, Courtright tried a technique known as a border pass to shift his weapon to his left hand, but in the end, it just wasn't his night. Luke Short will live another six years and die at the age of 39.